بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Peace be upon you, Your Excellency, Nabi Al-Masar, the Minister of Environment, Engineer Ahmad Samar Zawbi, the head of the Jordan Engineers uh, Syndicate, Engineer Raad Soub, the uh, Secretary General of the Arab Fertilizer Union, uh, Engineer Abdul Hawq Rawad, the Executive Director of, Ara of uh, Jordan Phosphate, Dr. Samar al Zoub, the Advisor of the Executive Director uh, an Arab British company, Professor Nasser Kloub, the uh, Deputy President of Balka Applied University, Mr. Mohammed Zoubi, the Assistant uh, Under Secretary of Social Security Corporation, Engineer Fawzi Mishab, the Deputy, the Head of the Jordan Engineers Syndicate, um, Engineer Hamd, Hamd Yaqub, the head of uh, civil defense operations, uh, Awni Khazali from uh, Prince uh, Hussein bin Abdullah for civil protection, uh, Your Excellency Mohammed Al Muhammad, the head of chemical division at the Jordan uh, Engineers Syndicate, colleagues uh, from the Preparatory Committee, ladies and gentlemen, on my capacity on behalf of the Administrative Committee for the Chemical Operation Safety Society and on behalf of Jordan Engineer Syndicate, we would like to welcome you all to the uh, first uh, International Jordan Sum uh, Conference for uh, Chemical Operation Safety. Now the, we will listen to the head of the Preparatory Committee for the Conference, Mr. Mohammed Yaqub. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, peace be upon you all, and good morning to all of you. Based on the role of the uh, engineer syndicates, which aims at uh, promoting uh, the capacity and professional. Uh, skills of the engineers, the, the Society of Chemical Operations Safety Engineers, and the cooperation of the International Center for Environment, Water, and Energy Research of uh, Al Balka Applied University, has prepared for the launch of the International Conference for the uh, Chemical Operations Safety, which is uh, the first in Jordan and the region. And this conference comes under uh, the uh, global epidemic that we pray to God uh, to uh, bring it to an end uh, soon. Even though the conference has brought together a number of speakers and we have communicated with the international, regional and local organizations to participate in reports uh, and research paper in a virtual conference. The conference has taken a set of uh, topics and themes, uh, specialized and technical ones, uh, in particular on chemical operation safety and integrated them um, in the uh, management of uh, uh, environment and occupational health and safety and chemical safety in general within the following aspects. The safety of operations that is based on uh, risk assessment and verification of uh, industrial standards and lessons learned to ensure its sustainability in addition to the safe design of uh, factories and uh, risks analysis studies uh, and preparedness for such uh, cases and other issues related to the chemical operation safety and environment. The conference has hosted a number of specialized speakers who are considered leaders in this uh, uh, field and heads of the most important uh, scientific centers like the uh, executive uh, director of the American Center for, Hel for Chemical Operation Safety and the director of the safety center of the uh, British uh, Chemical Engineers uh, Center and the head of Mary Kay for uh, operation safety of 
Texas A&M University and disabilities and uh, health and chemical safety of the uh, ILO and from the uh, uh, UN organization, in addition to the uh, head of technical operations of TETRA. The conference has included 47 scientific lectures presented by 51 speakers from 19 countries and 39 organizations, international, regional, and local ones throughout two days. All of them has tackled the mission to promote operation safety and improve human performance uh, in terms of uh, operation safety uh, in view of uh, protecting production against uh, incidents in addition to the role of international organization in this regard and incorporating the safety standards in the uh, educational cur curricula and education and in industrial uh, incidents and insurance of uh, operation safety in particular under the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to express uh, sincere thanks uh, for the Jordan Engineers uh, Syndicates uh, and the Chemical Engineers uh, Division for their efforts to make this conference uh, a, a success uh, and the uh, efforts that has been exerted uh, uh, to prepare for this conference and to launch uh, the discussion over this uh, important idea. Wishing you all the best and for the speakers and the presenters and all the colleagues who have participated in the conference, I would look, like to uh, express special thanks and the uh, presidency of the Palka Applied University for hosting this conference and also would like to thank the sponsors uh, of this conference. Uh, like the uh, Arab Potash Company, the Islamic Bank of Jordan, uh, and the uh, now we will listen to the head of the uh, Chemical Operation Safety uh, Society, Engineer Yaqub Benita. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me first of all to welcome you all as I am really pleased and proud to participate in the opening ceremony of the first conference on the chemical operations safety, which is the first of its kind in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the lack of uh, associate in Jordan that's concerned with chemical sa operation safety. There was a need to establish the, uh, a specialized uh, society in this regard to establish the standards for the management of chemical operation safety in addition to spread awareness uh, on the control of industrial risks which would contribute to uh, decrease the uh, number of industrial incidents. The Jordan uh, Chemical Operation Safety Society was established uh, in uh, uh, June of last year and so far we were able to conduct more than 30 meetings with international organizations in this regard. We have also conducted more than 30 uh, professional activity with the participation of 30,000 engineers which, was conduct, which were conducted free of charge and the aim of those activities were to increase awareness on the principles of the management of chemical operation safety and that was through scientific seminars and workshops that are concerned with the operation safety and risk analysis with the participation of international companies and entities. We have also uh, signed a MOU with the, the American uh, Center for Chemical Operation Safety and the British Center for Chemical Engineers and the International Institute for Chemical Safety and uh, uh, Safety and Operations and uh, 
the European Center for the Operation Safety and the Operation Safety Center of Texas University and the Malaysian Center for, for Operation Safety, and to highlight the implementation of the management system of chemical operation safety, the Society, in cooperation with the International Center for Water, Environment, and Energy at Al Palka Applied University, has prepared for this important conference, which hosts speakers and experts uh, from around the world. Uh, even though we at the uh, society are looking forward to contribute in drafting a legislation or a code, Jordanian code for chemical operation safety and Jordanian standards that include detailed instructions on implementing the management system of operation safety, which can be approved by relevant uh, national authorities and uh, to be implemented in uh, relevant companies in Jordan and we are more than ready to pursue this uh, uh, idea and uh, in conclusion I would like to thank all the sponsors and supporters of the of the conference like the uh, Arab Potash Company, the Islamic Bank of Jordan, the Presidency of Palka Applied University, and the British Energy Center, and the Arab uh, uh, Institute for uh, Safety. Uh, and uh, I wish you all a success. Peace be upon you all. the deputy of the chemical operations safety dr sami awan good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, preserving and respecting uh, all of your titles esteemed uh, guests across the world who represent all the interested parties in the process safety. Dear, let us first start to highlight uh, why it is a crucial the process safety in our process industries. Let us ask ourselves, what are the common constant objectives of any business organization, including chemical process-based plants? First of all, you would agree with me that we all want to convert assets into profits. And we all want zero business interruption. We all want to ensure loss prevention. And we strive always to continual growth and improvement that incorporate profits. And we need to sustain and in order to achieve that sustainability, we need always to maximize our competitive edge and promote new competitive edges always. No way we can achieve our objectives unless we have robust and very strong safety management system that includes highly effective process safety management and loss prevention practices. We need to remember always measuring our strength in our safety management system, how strong we are. Believe me that we are as strong as our weakest link. Therefore, we need to commit to process safety at all management levels, from the supervisor to the general manager. Understand and respect hazards and risks. Manage risks. Learn from experience. To be continually a learning organization, not a closed organization for any advice from outside or ignoring 
incidents and not announcing them. We need to be a learning organization for everything in you, in particular in process safety. Among a variety of process safety management system elements, we would indicate the following. Process safety culture. Do we have a vibrant safety culture that engages every individual in the organization, permanent workers, all contractors, all subcontractors, all visitors, are all of them aware of the hazards? Are all of them need to know what to do in case of an emergency? Are every one of them given the necessary needed orientation and training? Process safety competency, is our recruitment system based on competency, hazard identification, and risk assessment. Do we perform risk assessment before we take our decisions, particularly those critical decisions, when we make management of change, when we want to modify our process, when we want to modify our machinery or equipment? Do we take in consideration that uh, risks and hazards change? And who change them, our workforce? by their at-risk behaviors? Contractor management. Are we in full control of the safety of our contracted works? Emergency management. Are we confident that our workers will behave during emergencies as stated in our emergency plans? We all in our organization have emergency plans, manuals, and they look nice. But in the real life, in a real emergency, will our workers implement what they have to implement as prescribed in the emergency plan effectively and actively and correctly? Incident investigation. Do we apply an effective incident investigation methodology that analyzes the real root causes and develops effective corrective actions to prevent recurrence? Auditing, are we a proactive organization? Do we have an effective auditing program that targets the causal factors of potential incidents? Why do I have to wait for the incident to happen? Why I don't perform audits to identify potential incidents, causal factors, and then take preventive uh, action? and prevent the incidents from occurrence and then become a proactive organization. Management review and continuous improvement. How proactive we are, how frequent and effective are our management review meetings? Do we perform trending for our problems, trending, to make it easier for uh, our management to take decisions? And finally, we need to continuously identify hazards, assess, and control risks to sustain. Thank you very much. The official uh, partners of the conference, uh, the Secretary General of the Arab Fertilizer Union, Engineer Raed Soub. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and peace be upon you all. Your Excellences, we are honored to have you at this opening ceremony. I had a paper to read from, but I noticed that we have listened to uh, uh, ritual information in this first uh, conference, which uh, the Engineers uh, Syndicate has been distinguished to uh, conduct and we were called upon to participate in this idea that they have been pursuing throughout the previous seven months 
we at the uh, union we are working on this topic since 10 years for all fertilizer companies in general i would like to talk about the arab union to define it uh, it is uh, it has members uh, from the producers of fertilizer which are called the full for uh, plants you may notice that the participation of Arab countries in the uh, fertilizer industry in the world is around equivalent to one third of the uh, this share in the world so we provide one third of the food of food to the whole world we wanted to establish this partnership in order to know who are the companies in Jordan. We have five of them, including potassium and phosphate uh, companies and nitrogen phosphates. We are around 42% of this industry in the world. In phosphate, we are more than 70% of the global production of potassium in the world. So we, this union brings uh, members from one of the key industries uh, in this uh, sector, and we are trying, in participation with the engineer syndicate, we are trying to develop this science which we already have, but with the activities of the members of the syndicate, we may promote it, promote it for further uh, development. We would like to thank you all for your participation and for your attendance, given this uh, situation uh, that we are experiencing now, to be able to conduct the, this uh, conference is an achievement by itself. And in order to put this relationship in the framework with the syndicate, we will sign an MOU at the margin of this uh, conference. So we would like to thank you for inviting us. I came from Cairo yesterday and will be departing tomorrow. So thank you all for uh, participating in the conference. Uh, God bless you all. the head of chemical uh, engineers division at the uh, Jordan Engineer Syndicate, uh, Engineer Mohammed Al Mahamid. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Engineer Amr. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Excellency, the Minister of Environment, Mr. Nabil Masarwa, the patron, patron of this uh, ceremony, the head of the Jordan Engineers uh, Syndicate, uh, Ahmed Samara Zabi, Engineer Raed Saoub, the Secretary General of the Arab Fertilizer Union, uh, our, um, Engineer Abdullah Rawab, the Executive Director of uh, uh, Phosphate Company, The deputy of the executive director of Arab Potash Company, Engineer Samir Job, and Mr. Hatem Yaqub, the head of operations of the civil defense, the deputy of the uh, head of the engineer syndicate in Jordan, the, uh, Mr. Ali Nasser, the secretary general of the syndicate, speakers from all participating countries. Participants from all countries, ladies and gentlemen, in my capacity and on behalf of my colleagues of the Chemical Engineers uh, Division, we would like to welcome you to this conference, which forms a transformation point in the uh, chemical operation safety in Jordan and the region. It's a good start for the uh, chemical operation safety. Uh, a society which has proven since its establishment few months ago uh, its uh, contribution to implement uh, its action plan. The adoption of the concept of chemical operation safety represents for us at the engineers uh, syndicate a professional and national role at the same time. A chemical engineer 
and engineers in general are entitled of implementing safety standards which are different from the general concept of safety in terms of their deep knowledge of operations and the risks of the material used in addition to the methods for their transportation and storage. Therefore, our role is to uh, build capacities of our engineers uh, and uh, understand, establish understanding of the employers of this critical role of engineers in terms of chemical operations. And since this concept is still new, even though uh, so many know about it before that, so at the engineers syndicate and through the chemical operation safety uh, uh, society, we had to highlight uh, this important idea by conducting specialized workshops in addition to communication with the industrial sector uh, locally and regionally to launch an initiative to reach out to engineers that, uh, that are qualified in this area and by uh, having partnerships with the specialized international entities who have experience in this field uh, we were able to establish uh, forums uh, and uh, uh, ways to, uh, to convey lessons learned from the uh, global experience since industrial investments uh, are met with uh, enormous efforts to attract them in addition to the, uh, uh, the necessary costs uh, for such investments, we were we had to be concerned with the safety of uh, the safety of chemical operations to limit any risks and hazards on humans and uh, entities. And what happened in the plan in Beirut port is a proof on the importance of implementing chemical operation safety at the storage facilities, transportations and uh, plants. And this requires consolidated national efforts to, uh, to have legislations that regulate the chemical operation safety at facilities and to pay attention to the role of specialized and qualified engineers to limit uh, such incidents. At the Chemical Engineers Division of the Jordan Engineers Syndicate, we would like to thank our partners in conducting this, co uh, this conference, the Arab Fertilizer Union and the uh, Environment, uh, Water and uh, Energy Center of the Palka Applied University for their efforts to support the success of the idea of this conference and would like also to thank the sponsors like Jordan Islamic Bank, Arab Potash Company for their sponsorship for this conference and the supporting organizations, the Arab Institute for Safety Sciences and the British Energy Center and our members of the founding committee of the uh, conference. We would like to thank you all for these efforts which were exerted in the previous period of uh, preparing for this conference. Our colleagues in the preparatory committee head by Professor Mohammed Matouk, your efforts are valuable and we would like to thank you for that uh, and uh, I would like to thank also our colleagues of the uh, Council of the Engineers Syndicate uh, and the Secretary General of the Syndicate for the support they uh, gave uh, in conducting this uh, conference. Uh, our colleagues and the media uh, committee uh, for the logistic support for this conference, wishing all success to this conference and it comes to be beneficial for the best of the country and the region. Thank you all and peace be upon you all. The head of the uh, Jordan Engineer Syndicate, uh, Engineer Ahmed Samar Zabi, the floor is yours.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Excellency the Minister of Environment Mr. Nabil Masarwa Your Excellencies ladies and gentlemen peace be upon you all It's all about the homeland towns village cities and peace uh, from Amman to uh, Jerusalem and to Damascus uh, through Sana'a, Algeria and Baghdad uh, and glory for our martyrs uh, 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 and we send through the uh, uh, land day which is concurrent today uh, a greeting for Palestine Palestine the land the people the trees and everything in Palestine we uh, reiterate uh, uh, the uh, Palestine old Palestine from the north to the south and the, uh, the uh, and when we talk about land we talk about land and humans so there is no alternative of the land and no economic development of a human being while under occupation we meet today while our homeland are in grief because of the coronavirus pandemic we we are losing the the suffering of families of the uh, covid-19 cases and uh, death cases and we pray to god to bring this pandemic to an end where we go to our normal life and build work towards better future for a free Jordanian a uh, proud free Jordanian ladies and gentlemen since the establishment of our syndicate and its elected councils uh, are a symbol of pride for the country we are supporting uh, the development of the uh, home country uh, a creative and powerful initiative syndicate that is uh, uh, exerting a force to serve all engineers in the country our methodology of operations are still ongoing to support all factors of our life and we are witnessing development in the methods of operation in terms of training qualification uh, practices improvement of performance quality and other terms and to uh, support the principle of decentralization uh, and the, uh, uh, even though the pandemic has affected all parts of our lives, our syndicate has continued to, to serve the country and the engineers. Even though the uh, Society of uh, Chemical Operation Safety is, was established under these conditions, we were able to contribute to, uh, to support our cooperation with international organizations through MOUs with the uh, uh, American Center for uh, uh, Public Safety, the International Institute for Chemical Safety and Security and other centers and we call upon relevant parties on top of which the Ministry of Labor and Social Security Corporation to establish a national uh, committee to set standards for chemical operation safety. The syndicate represented by the uh, chemical safety operation, chemical operation safety uh, society uh, are, is well uh, prepared and ready to support uh, this process uh, given the impact on the community and facilities uh, due to the uh, 
the incidents that are related to chemical uh, operations and we are supporting establishing a national company specialized in this regard in addition to build capacities of engineers and open new horizons for the employment of engineers many thanks for the organizers of this conference thanks for the minister of environment uh, glory for the country and glory for the uh, people of Jordan. Peace be upon you all. Finally, Last but not least, uh, the Minister of Environment, uh, the patronage of this ceremony, the floor is yours, sir. Good morning to all of you. Your Excellency Engineer Ahmad Samar Zabi, the head of the Jordan Engineer Syndicate, Your Excellencies, colleagues from Jordan and uh, other countries, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. And environmental greeting to all of you that is up to the level of your conference uh, and in line with the uh, your professional skills that we are proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, I was very pleased uh, to be amongst you in the uh, opening ceremony of this conference given its quality and the quality of the participants which is in line with the objectives of the Ministry of Environment that's always seeking to build partnerships with relevant uh, entities and specialized experts to uh, support the safe usage of chemical hazardous materials and uh, the requirements that include the, the consolidated efforts uh, that is up to the level to the challenges at the local, regional, international level and prepare us for the future by supporting the uh, building the capacities of engineers and engineering uh, entities on issues like uh, uh, safety of chemical operations and cooperating them in the management of health and um, the safety of the environment uh, through uh, consolidated work that bring you all together as engineers, academics, researchers in uh, the area of chemical operations and with the participation of international organizations. I would like to thank you again for your uh, concern and selecting this very important issue, uh, uh, especially under the uh, uh, current situation and after the what happened in Beirut port. And based on the adoption of the national uh, manual for hazardous materials that was prepared with rele by relevant uh, ministry uh, and was adopted by the government. Uh, and we look forward to the different outcomes of this conference uh, and outcomes that would enable us to establish better bases for the future that support uh, the uh, environment at the local, regional and national level. And this qualitative uh, participation would certainly have uh, impact at the international level on the chemical operations safety uh, in particular, the participation of the ILO, the American Center for Operation Safety, uh, and the, uh, the British Energy Center, the Malaysian Center for Operation Safety, and the European Center for Operation Safety, and all uh, international entities that are specialized in operation safety. Thanks also for uh, the uh, Society of uh, chemical operations safety engineers uh, and the Arab Fertilizer Union and the uh, Palka Applied University, the key partners in holding this uh, conference. 
In conclusion, we'd like to thank the Engineer Syndicate for organizing this uh, very important conference and their efforts to support the engineering work in the country. With the blessing of God, we launch the activities of this conference, wishing you all success and peace be upon you all. Ask His Excellency Nabil uh, Masarwa, the Minister of Environment, the head of the Jordan Engineer Syndicate, uh, Mr. Ahmed Samaran Zabi, and the head of the scientific committee of the conference to present a token for the partners of the conference and the sponsors, in addition to the proprietary com committee for their efforts that enable us to uh, hold this conference, starting from the uh, Jordan Engineer Syndicate, uh, the token presented to uh, Engineer Ahmed Samar Zabi, the head of the syndicate. Arab Fertilizer Union, uh, the token presented to Mr. Ad Saoub, the Secretary of the Union. International Center for Water, Environment, and Energy Research of the Palka Applied University presented to the uh, deputy of the president of the university. Arab Potash Company, the token presented to the uh, advisor of the uh, of the CEO for strategic affairs, Dr. Samir Joub. Dr. Samir Joub, advisor to the CEO of on strategic affairs. Jordan Islamic Bank uh, presented to Mr. Iyad Al Qawasmi. Head of the Priority Committee of the Conference, Professor Muhammad Maktou. Deputy Head of the Preparatory Committee and Head of the Chemicals Operations Safety uh, Society, Engineer Yaqub Banita.
and on behalf of the Parvati Committee, the token is presented to Dr. Sami Ahmed. and the conference coordinator, engineer Rahaf al -Qaddumi. Now we ask the head of the Jordan uh, engineer syndicate to present a token to His Excellency uh, Nabil Masarwa, the Minister of Environment. <laughs> 